Alright guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to jailbreak any PlayStation 3 model slim, super slim, fat on the latest firmware that is 4.86 and it's going to be a quick video because it's so easy to do, any person can do it and I wanted to record with my Elgato but it's not working on PS3 for some reason so I had to use my camera and again it's so simple to do within 10 minutes you can actually jailbreak your PS3 so first step is going to be on your PC you need to download these three things all the links are going to be in the description first it's going to be the hybrid firmware then um, webman and multiman and the third thing is going to be um, web host and that web host is going to be for your pc okay so once you guys have all these three things downloaded what you want to do you need to have a usb drive i already have a usb drive on my pc and make sure it's formatted into fat32 so it should be on this one fat32 i've already done that so i'm not going to format my usb i'm just going to open the usb and now i'm just going to copy the first thing that's going to be the hybrid firmware or hfw so simply copy that and also you need to copy the webman and multiman as well because those are the application we're going to use to install games and stuff so once you guys have done copying the um, HFW that is going to be the main thing okay HFW or you can call it hybrid firmware um, I'm just going to go ahead and copy the multiman as well and now once you guys have copied both of the things into USB extract both of these things so remember you need to extract the HFW folder and extract the webman and multiman folder into the USB and make sure the USB is in um, FAT32 format and again, all of these things, links are going to be in the description. So once you guys have extracted both of these things, now what you want to do is open the HFW folder, go inside and copy this um, PUP file outside the USB, like, you know, onto the root directory and then make a new folder called PlayStation 3 and make sure it's on capital. And once you guys make the PS3 folder, make another folder inside that called um, update. And remember, there's going to be the same step like we do to update our PS3 using a USB. And then copy that file from the HFW and then rename it. So simply remove everything that is uh, before the underscore, including the underscore. So what you're going to get is PS3 update.pup. So it's going to be inside the update and PS3 just like this. And make sure it is from HFW folder. So this is going to be our hybrid firmware um, file. And now open the webman and multiman, copy it outside just like we did uh, with the PS3 folder, like we made a PS3 folder. And once you guys have done that, you are done with the USB part. And now simply close and then eject the USB and take it to your PlayStation 3. Right, guys. So now I have my USB ready. I have everything inside the USB that we just did. And now what you can do is. Um, plug the USB drive onto the right slot of your PlayStation 3 and that is going to be the one that is close to the Blu-ray drive and once you guys have done that what you want to do is simply um, now go to your PlayStation 3 go to system update and update VIA storage media and once you've done that it's going to scan and it's going to show you that there's going to be a hybrid firmware okay this is the thing that we copied into the USB okay inside the PS3 and update folder and then simply um, update the PS3 and by the way, updating takes about five minutes. So I'm just going to super fast forward it. And until then, we're just going to wait until it updates. So first, it's going to copy the data. And remember, do not turn off your PS3 while it's updating. If you do that, it's going to break your PS3 and you have to install the um, normal software, like, you know, official software again inside your PS3. And it takes a lot of time. And believe me, it is pain in the ass. So it's right now, uh, my PS3 is updating with the hybrid firmware that we downloaded and that we had in our um, USB drive. And again, it's going to take about five to 10 minutes. So you guys have to have a little bit of patience. And again, I fast forwarded it. So that's why it was that fast. And once it's done, it's going to reboot your PlayStation 3. And now you guys have to um, go to the PC again and do the thing with the webman. So you see my PlayStation 3 is uh, rebooted. And remember guys, now you have to enable the internet connection. It's all right if you have internet enabled before that, it's completely fine. But if you have it disabled, it's going to be uh, like, you know, a little bit better. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you the uh, firmware first. So I'm just going to go to um, system uh, settings, system information. It's all the way down. And now you see I have the latest uh, firmware that is 4.86. And remember, this one is our hybrid one. OK, so now I'm just going to go and enable my Internet. And this is really important. Okay, You guys have to enable the Internet on your PlayStation 3 as well. And now once you guys have done that, we're going to go back to the PC. We have already done these two files, so there's no use of that. And now we're going to use our mini uh, local host, mini web uh, host file. So simply extract that and open the folder and then simply um, 
start this uh, application and it will give you this screen right here and once you have this screen what you want to do you need to know this um, IP address the host IP address and we're gonna be using that into our PlayStation 3 and remember make sure the PlayStation 3 and PC is connected to the same internet so now what you want to do in your PlayStation 3 is you need to go to the internet browser and write that IP address in the search settings. So go to the internet browser and remember make sure your both PC and PS3 have to be on same Wi-Fi or on same connection. So once you open your internet browser on your PlayStation 3, um, copy this uh, host IP address and IP address are going to be different. Okay, your IP address is going to be something different. So press triangle, go to file, uh, entry. And now you need to write down your um, IP address in that place, okay? And again, your IP address is going to be different. Mine is completely different. So I'm just going to put mine in the address bar. And you need to delete everything that is on the address bar, okay? Remember that. So mine is uh, 192.168.1.4. So I already have that. So I'm just going to use that. And you see, I have it right here. I just uh, wrote the same one right there. And click Option. Uh, I mean enter and then it will start installing the um, ps3 hand dot p3t I already had that but I'm just gonna install again just to make sure to show you guys all right and it's gonna take like about uh, 30 seconds so don't worry about it and do not cancel that okay leave it as it is let it install and once the installation is gonna be done you guys have to uh, click on initialize HEN okay so that's what I'm gonna do after the thing installs And now once that install, you will get the option to um, accept that. Simply go back and now click on initialize HEN installer and it's going to take around uh, two seconds. Once that done and now you can go ahead and simply uh, click on install HEN. What, and what HEN is, it's going to be the um, jailbreak for your PS3. So it will say welcome to PS3 HEN on the top and then it will start downloading that instantly after that. Okay. So it's right now it's installing. And before it installs, it's going to download and then you guys have to install it manually. So simply click X and it will install. And once that installed, we are completely done here. And now simply what we need to do is we just need to simply go ahead and restart the uh, PlayStation 3. And it will also say please wait for a bit. So simply done that. And now we can go ahead and restart the application. Not the application, sorry. Restart our PlayStation 3. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to turn off the PS3 and I will just simply restart it. And... I like the fact that how fast PS3 is, I mean, in restarting and turning off because my PS4 takes ages to turn off and uh, I don't know why. So simply restart the PlayStation 3 and you're going to see something different when your PS3 starts. Instead of PS3 logo, there's going to be HEN logo on the right side. And I will tell you what I mean by that. So right now we have HEN logo with an egg and then you will get the normal um, warning that it's going to be for epilepsy and then now you want to choose your um, user and this time you're going to see the HEN um, application inside your um, game tab so now you can actually enable the HEN and after you enable the HEN you can actually install the multi-man that we already have in our USB and if you don't know what Multiman is, Multiman is the application that can be used to um, launch games directly from your HDD and you can actually install games from PKG files and for those things guys you need to watch someone, uh, something else to show because this is how you can um, jailbreak the PS3. So if you have the Multiman that means you have done the jailbreaking thing, now you can just simply copy the games into your HDD and play them through the multi-man so this is how you guys can jailbreak the ps3 guys any ps3 can be jailbroken uh, ps3 slim ps3 uh, super slim ps3 fat any model onto the latest version and this is how fast you can do it and i've seen a lot of videos of people and by the way i have already some games installed in my hdd i have red Dead redemption i have minecraft and nfs and NFS is actually my uh, game that I bought from PlayStation Store. So anyway, I was saying that a lot of people made video about like uh, how to jailbreak PS3. And those videos are like 20 minutes long and something like that. So this is how you can jailbreak any PlayStation 3 model. I hope you guys find this video useful. And if you do find this video useful, subscribe and turn on the post notification and like the video. And that is going to be really appreciated. So I'm going to start from here. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.